Welcome to WebWiz. If you're going to be uploading your pictures onto your website and the internet, you're going to want to have some copyright protection. In this WebWiz tutorial, I will be showing you how to add watermark onto your picture. If we have time, I'm also going to be showing you how to add copyright information into the file so that when people open up the file, there's going to be copyright information embedded into the picture. But if I don't have enough time, I will address that in a um, further episode, in the next episode. We're going to be editing this picture that you may have seen um, in the tutorial on using the straighten tool. Um, we're using Adobe Photoshop Elements 9, but this should apply for uh, other versions of Photoshop as well. In order to create the watermark, we're going to be creating a, another picture that has a watermark. And whenever you want to add a watermark to your picture, you can use the same watermark by just using the one in another picture, not even to drag it out of this picture. It's going to be a watermark picture that you are going to be able to use. So in order to do that, go to File new blank file. Uh, for a low resolution, choose about 72 pixels per inch, high resolution 300. You can name this picture whatever you want, like watermark template would be something good to call it, something you can uh, easily find. You can set the width and height to whatever is proper for this picture. Click OK. Here's the canvas for a picture. We're going to change it to, this is the uh, background color, we're going to change it to be a grayish color by cl clicking this color palette, choosing a medium gray color, higher than that, clicking OK. Then you can click Alt Backspace or Alt Delete, whether you're using a Mac or a PC. We can see that it changes it to a gray color. We are then going to change the foreground color to black. Alright, next you're going to choose the horizontal type tool. Choose a font that's easy to read, like Arial Black, by switching through the fonts here. Um, you can make the text center text so that it will be centered. And then you can drag a text box into existence. You will then want to type in the copyright symbol. Depending on what type of computer you have, this may be done differently. On some computers, in order to create the copyright symbol, it's Alt-0169, I believe. On a MacBook, it's Alt-G. In any case, you're going to have to create the copyright symbol and then click Enter to create a new line and enter in the name that you want to be on your watermark. Something like Web Wiz Photography. And you may have to make the box a little bit bigger. In any case, you're going to have to create your text. And then you're going to have to um, uh, make the background color invisible by clicking on the eye next to the background layer. That way, all we see is the text. You then want to resize the text. You want to make the copyright symbol a little bit bigger than the text symbol. You may have to resize the text box in order to do this. Try something like 50 points for your name and 150 points for the uh, copyright symbol. But going up to the options palette and choosing this, just change that. And like, I say 150. And we can obviously see that is way too big for this box. So what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to resize this box. Let's make this full smaller first. There. Now, it's, now we can make it 150. And then you can make the text something like 50 points, which it already is. You can just resize this, bat, this box. There. Now the text is a pretty good size. And what we're going to do is um, go to the effects palette over here and choose stylize emboss or go to the top and click filter stylize emboss. 
it doesn't really matter. You're then going to be asked to simplify the text, which means that it can no longer be edited. So just make sure that the text is proper. Click OK. You can then make the angle of the emboss 135 degrees, height 3 pixels, and amount 100%, which is going to change the effect on the uh, text. You're then going to make another effect by going to Filter or the Effects Palette, going to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and 2 to 3 pixels. It may be a little difficult to see exactly what's going on um, on this picture, but you will see the effect clearly um, in just a little bit. Next you're going to um, go to the blend mode in layers palette and change this normal to become hard light. We can then um, make the background layer visible again by clicking where the eye used to be. And then we should be able to see a little bit of what's just happened. This is now a transparent watermark that we can use. In order to put it into our other picture, you have to have the other picture open that we want to use. That's this one of the sunset. You can then drag the watermark into that picture. And you will have to resize the watermark. Mine's way too big, so I just have to make it smaller. This may take a little bit. Once the watermark is the right size, you can just click the green check mark. And you can always make it bigger or smaller. There. That's pretty. Actually, I can make it a little bit smaller than that. You don't want it to become dominated on your photo where all people see is the watermark. Just click the check mark and then position it wherever you want it to be. Let's center it right there. Now, it may be a little bit difficult to see, so I'm just going to zoom in. However, there's a transparent watermark, and if people do print out this picture, you can see this will be on there, and there's no way they can remove that without, uh, I guess, if they went to Photoshop, they might be able to remove it, but it would definitely take a while. I doubt people are going to go through that trouble. All right, now that we added a watermark, I'm going to show you how to add copyright info. What you're going to do is go to File Menu and choose File Info. You can then go down to where it says uh, copyright status and you can change it from unknown to copyrighted. And then you can enter your personal copyright info into the copyright notice area. Something like web with photography. You know, I don't know what yours is. This I just entering an example. Web was Photography Incorporated, which does not actually exist. You can enter the date, and then something like all the rights reserved, which sounds awesome. You can then um, enter a copyright info URL, like your website. When people open up this picture and go to the file info to see this copyright info, they can actually click go to the URL to go to your website, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Put down my words. www.webwiz. Let's see. Webwiz.inquo.scholars.org. Just click OK to save that. Now, if you go to up here, you will see that there is a copyright um, copyright sign up here, which has been added because of the information. If you go over to our watermark template, which we did not add, you do not see a copyright symbol before watermark template. It's only afterwards, which is because the text that we entered is just showing up here, but the actual picture does not have a copyright symbol. There is one on the one that we just uh, changed. So when people open up this picture, they will always see the copyright info. It's embedded into the picture. So now you've protected your picture in two ways. One that people can see, one that people cannot see. Thank you for watching this WebWiz tutorial on how to copyright your pictures. Very important. Thank you for watching.